They're larger than life anywhere they go, but it's a different context here at Bonnaroo. To see a super legend nail it is like going to see Jordan. I think a legend is somebody that brings a transcendent talent to the stage. And because Bonnaroo is sort of this escape from reality, because everyone's like so jazzed to be there, and the artists sort of approach it as like a Super Bowl moment themselves. I'm a big Neil Young fan. I happen to be sitting in my portrait studio, and just out of the corner of my eye, I see here comes Neil. And I look down, and in his hand, he's got his entire set list written on the paper plate. And I just said, oh, great. I just stand right here and just hold that, hold that paper plate in front of you. And I just like went bam, bam, bam. And I just like, thank you. And I, I have to say, that's gotta be like one of my classic Bonnaroo portraits, for sure. I got to be on stage with Ben Folds 5 as they reunited. It was like time had just like evaporated. All of a sudden they're on stage playing all these songs that I grew up with and it was, where else does that happen? Beastie Boys are legends, they're legends. And for me, the moments in my life that are the most powerful are the moments relating to music. That's what Bonnaroo is. Bonnaroo is the place where you remember seeing your favorite band of all time the last time you could ever see them. And I'm a huge metal guy, so seeing Tool up there, Metallica, those things were, were pretty incredible moments. Last year, having the original Beach Boys reunion there was great. First time Radiohead played back in 2006, that was a big moment. Stevie Wonder into Jay-Z. But to see kind of the Elvis of hip-hop at that moment, to see that and that lineup was mind-blowing, you know? It was, it, was, it was definitely surreal, surreal. I remember Stevie Wonder breaking into higher ground. And I've seen a ton of shows, and there was something really magical about that. Some guys are fine with just living off, like, old record sales, but these guys continue to perform, and not only perform, but go completely balls out. You know, to actually have that chance to see Bruce Springsteen come out, here's as great a live performer as has ever been coming at full throttle. It was clearly important to him to prove to everybody, there's a reason that you've heard I'm the best. Let me show you that I'm the best. You know, I think to be a, a rock and roll legend, you've got to deliver over the years, over and over again, and continue to challenge yourself and continue to challenge your audience. I think with Petty, you take for granted a little bit how many amazing songs there are. Tom Petty still has the fire for it. Down a dirty road. You know, there's, there's no one like Petty. You know, you know he's gonna deliver a great show. That's the kind of performance that we live for. And that's why we're psyched that he's coming back this year. You know, him along with Paul McCartney, Billy Idol, John Oates, and ZZ Top, and Wu-Tang Clan, and R. Kelly. You know, I mean, these are all legends of music. Some of them are more contemporary than others, but those are the type of artists that we want to bring out there. We want to celebrate them. We want to give them an amazing platform to have an amazing performance. We want to let our fans experience that. We want to experience it along with them, because that's kind of, at the end of the day, what you're doing this for. to stop and kind of soak it all in? No. Nope. <laughs> no. no. How does it 